Hi, I'm Chase Thompson Baugh with Simply Mac, your local source for everything Apple. We're a Utah based Apple specialist with eight stores in Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. And today we're going to show you some more quick tips on the iPad that I know you're just going to love. Now I'm going to show you how you can add folders with files on your iPad. So if you want to create files on your iPad or create folders to hold those files rather, then you may notice that there's not really an application to do this. We have mail, but I want to put that message somewhere or I want to create a document. So I come here to uh, pages and I want to be able to put that document somewhere. So pages is keeping them all here, but I want to be able to organize them my own way. We can use different services to do this. Some of the best ones, I actually have right here, Dropbox and Air Sharing. These are my two favorite ones. Dropbox, if you're not familiar with it, is a free service that gives you free space online that you can store your documents. There's even an application for the Mac or PC that you can go ahead and interface with your Dropbox. So these are a bunch of documents that I've put on my home computer that are online now and I can access from my iPad. So I can look at this eBooks and I can go ahead and begin downloading this. This will automatically show up on my iPad. I can read with it. Um, I can also view Microsoft Office documents this way. And so all I had to do was put the document into my computer and then it's available on my iPad. If I want to create a new folder, so say I come back out here and I want a new folder. This has to be done on the computer or you can actually go to Safari. Let's go out and we'll go to uh, dropbox.com. Once you go to dropbox.com, you can also work with your files. You'll notice there's a little sign in right up here. Put in your email address and password, and then you can create files here as well. So once you get signed in, you can actually create these folders here in Safari. If you just come here, let's tap on this little folder with a plus sign. New folder. Yep, that's what we want. New folder, and I can go ahead and give this a name. Let's call this uh, iPad. And that's it. That's all I want. So I'm just going to say go. It says creating the folder. There's iPad. So let's leave this app and go back to Dropbox. And there it is. Now I can go ahead and start putting documents in here. Um, getting a document into Dropbox, we can come here to Pages, for instance. And if I tap Edit, I can tap on the file. And you'll notice Dropbox is not one of the choices, but I could email it to myself and then bring it in if I wanted to. Now, if you're not uh, liking that interface, you can always just put it in on your computer as well. Now, let's talk about air sharing really quickly. Air sharing is one of my favorite applications because it basically will help me, and there's a lot of help topics to get you started, but it will help me tie into uh, other things on my computer. So if I tap on this right here, you'll notice that I have a couple of addresses. Well, if I want to, I can go to a web browser and type in this address and then I'll actually see air sharing on my computer and I can drag and drop files. Air sharing also has the ability of tying into other servers. So if I tap on this little plus up here, servers meaning uh, a Dropbox account, a box.com uh, account, FTP accounts, or even uh, Files Anywhere, Cloud Me, other web dev. If you have other servers that you want to tie into, this is a great document manager, as well as Google Docs as well. Again, my name is Chase Thompson Baugh, and we've shown you how you can take folders of files and put it on your iPad.